Hi, it's Becky. Back in May, I posted a screener that explained how to reset a storyline drag and drop that has two tries. Although it works correctly, the setup doesn't allow for more than two tries, so I thought I should update my screencast to include that situation. To review, by default, a drag and drop does not reset or reposition draggable items when the learners drag them, click submit, and try again. So you can see the item stays in its original position. Learners could drag them back down, but I'd actually like that to happen automatically. Fortunately, with a little bit of manipulation, we can get Storyline to reposition those items. First, let's look at the setup. So I'll go into Edit Drag and Drop, because I do want to show you that this has been set up so the learners will have three attempts. I'll close that. Because there's more than one attempt, Storyline has automatically set up a Try Again layer. And you can see I've had a little bit of fun with mine. First, in order for learners to try again, we need Storyline to jump back to that base slide. That's done by attaching a new trigger. So the new trigger has to have an action of jumping to a slide. The slide that it needs to go to is that drag and drop slide, so the same slide but the base layer, and it needs to happen when the user clicks the Try Again button. That's one piece. The other piece is, back here on that drag and drop base layer, we need to come over to this little gear icon and change the properties so that when revisiting is set to reset to initial state. And that's what will allow those draggable items to go back to their original position. So I'll click on OK for that. The problem is that if we leave it at that, the learner will actually have unlimited attempts. And remember, I only want them to have three attempts. Knowing this, I previously set up a numeric variable. That's done over here with Manage Project Variables. I called it Try. You can call yours whatever you'd like. And the default value is 0. So I'll click on OK. I just wanted to show you that. And what needs to ha happen is that I need to add triggers to use that variable on the Try Again layer. So I'll click on the Try Again layer. And I want to add a new trigger. What it needs to do, the action is that it needs to adjust the variable. I just need to change that variable. And the variable is try. And what I want to have happen is I want to add a value of 1. Scoot that little 1 up. When the user clicks the Try Again button. And that trigger does need to scoot up. So here's the trigger we just, need, we just added. Clicking the up arrow scoots it up to the top. It needs to occur before the layer is hidden. The other thing that we need to have happen is Storyline needs to know that after that second attempt, so once there's three attempts, the learner needs to get an incorrect message. So we need to show the incorrect layer. Show layer the sorry layer, which is the incorrect layer. I named it sorry. It needs to happen when the timeline starts on this try again layer, but only on condition that that try variable is greater than or equal to a value of 2. That's what lets Storyline know that we need to only have three attempts. So let's do a preview and make sure that it's doing what it needs to do. I'm going to make three mistakes. Here's my first try, and I'm trying again. Second try, trying again. And on my third attempt, I'm told, oops, you didn't get the correct response. You can continue on. And so I have set things up to continue to the slide with the correct answers on it. So that's all there is to it, and you can do that for any number of attempts that you want. There's two things that you need to do. One is on the drag and drop layer, you need to go in and set your number of attempts. So let's say that you wanted five. You could go in here and do that, save and close. And then on the try again layer, you need to change the number. So in this case, it would be a value of four. You just scoot up or jump the number, uh, type the number four in there. Now I feel better. You can truly drag and drop and reset no matter how many attempts you want to give the learner.